guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's not date or time specific, so whenever you come upon it, if it speaks to you, it could be your message at that time. Welcome, cross watchers, and for those that are of you that are newbies to the channel, happy to have you here. Just a note, we are just past the full moon, though we're still riding the wave of that big, powerful expansive energy of the full moon in Sagittarius. It's not too late to watch the reading that I did for it um, on the 22nd. I think I uploaded that, so go check it out. And other than that, I'm going to pull from Cosmic Journey Oracle just to activate the reading, get you a message. Card 26, the universe wants to co-conspire with you. Hmm. Two and six is eight, so numerologically, that's about, you know, fleshing out the details, focusing on, the, you know, creative solutions to problems. So I love that the universe is stepping in here to co-conspire with you, but it's for something like that you're building is the message that I'm getting. I have got something. Yes, there it is. <laughs> I always like fuss with my hair before I start. And then I pay the price for that. All right, my loves, I am going to pull the spread. This is a twin flame soulmate spread. I will tell you the positions of the cards, give you, give you my general impressions. We will get the details from the clarifiers. Here we go, Virgo. What wants to come through? Interesting, Page of Swords. Hmm, you're both curious about each other. It's the, the Page of Swords is coming through your shared energy. There's Virgo. Oh, wow. Um, okay, let me stop talking. I'll just get this done. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, my goodness. You're definitely um, approaching some sort of transformation here. Something is coming to an end, but I don't think it's the connection. I think there's something here that you're both shared energy is curiosity. The pages are messengers, as I always say, but the page of swords doesn't really give their message until they've done their due diligence. So he's like the spire detective of the tarot, okay? <laughs> Seeking out, ferreting out the information uh, and maybe some assurances before delivering any clarity. So I almost feel like you're both potentially like scrolling each other's feeds, looking for what's going on with each other, especially for those of you that are in some form of um, separation or, or, no or none or little communication. Now, Virgo, where are you on this journey with your person? You're on your journey. This hermit is Virgo energy and possibly that you've been unto yourself, maybe um, a little reclusive off the grid um, and maybe given off a vibe of unapproachability. So keep that in mind. Uh, your person, you know, where are they right now in terms of this connection? King of Pentacles, sort of finding their gr the ground beneath their feet, understanding the need for them to be someone you can rely on, be reliable, dependable. This is somebody who's kind of got their ish together. So I like seeing the King of Pentacles. It also happens to be a masculine archetype of a life partner here in 3D. So this part of the spread is looking at your karmic challenge. And for you, the karmic challenge is about lessons being learned or perhaps not learned. So cycles that repeat. Um, the world card is Saturn, great teacher, the Lord of Karma. And yes, we can get new beginnings, but it's not until we have an ending of something, till we close out a cycle. It's difficult. So you may be having a karmic challenge that something keeps repeating over and over again. Your person's karmic challenge here is about um, speaking truth. Yeah, being honest, forthright. Ooh, that just got me. Um, the opportunity, we're looking toward the future. We're looking toward potential life partnership or at least a plan that's more long-term in this connection. Um, the divine guidance is something's got to go. Death card, is it doesn't always talk about an ending. It talks about what is in the way that needs to be released, 
The death card is a card of release because like the eighth house, which Scorpio rules, is about death and rebirth, growth, change, and transformation. The sun is breaking on the horizon there. There's a white rose of peace on the flag. So even though we come upon this desolate scene there, Virgo, it's an opportunity for growth, change, and transformation that can change the course of your future or transform it, I should say. Hold on, the sun is moving. <laughs> and so I have to adjust my lighting a little bit. Okay, so that's what we're working with here. I'm going to go ahead and jump in. And just so you know, with the Queen of Swords, this is this person's karmic challenge. I feel the Queen of Swords is kind of you. So in other words, our King of Pentacles here has to understand that it's like just the facts, ma'am. Don't give me your saga. They struggle with just being a straight shooter. That's their karmic challenge. Whether you're the Queen of Swords or they need to adopt that approach it feels to me like this is somebody who may not um, deliver clear messages. All right, Page of Swords, shall we? <laughs> Spirit's punking me. Yep, what she said, what she said. Whoop. There's the world again and the fool. Wow, is this the time to, to leap? Is this the time to take a chance? Have the lessons been learned? Wow. So I do feel there's a lot of curiosity here. I do think there's something here where there may be some uh, clarity that could really kind of help liberate the two of you. Both these cards speak of liberation. Saturn used to rule Aquarius until Uranus was discovered, and, and Aquarian energy is freedom-loving, right? So part of the message of the world is like, I'm free. I'm free of the lessons. I'm free of the heartache, or I'm free of this cycle, or I'm free of, right? There's, there's something when you complete, and you don't have to go back and learn this, the lesson again the hard way. It's very liberating, and the fool is also... Uranus, which is the new ruler of Aquarius, or it's a planet that is the modern ruler of Aquarius. So I'm seeing a lot of powerful energy here where we're stripping things away. We're just putting the truth on a platter here. We got nothing to hide. A lot of um, what do I want to say about it? There's something here that feels um, I'm feeling vulnerability, but not like not the Knight of Cups kind of vulnerability. I'm not feeling emotional vulnerability. I feel like something, you know, when you say, you know, this this song is stripped down, it's that it doesn't have a lot of background energy it does it's just like acoustic it's the raw version or unedited stripped down that's what i feel i'm seeing here beginning to happen for the two of you what your energy is is yeah here i am i got nothing to hide hide and i got nothing to lose i'm i'm you know i'm risking it all lessons have been learned that cycle's complete so that's the energy surrounding this connection in general now let's check out your energy with the hermit. Where are you in this connection? Taking the time out to heal still. Um, but very interesting. Kind of coming through with some uh, fledgling optimism. <laughs> it's like after all this time on your own and, and going aground and maybe being a bit reclusive, it feels like you're kind of going like, yeah, I'm open to some positive messages, two of swords underneath in your unconscious awareness. It's like, yeah, the time is right. I've hit that crossroads moment now. I'm going to either stay off the grid or I'm going to be open and positive. And so I'm feeling pretty good about it. I feel like you've done some healing or you're still in, you know, wrapping up that process, but 
you're coming through whatever it is with a more positive outlook. Let's look at the King of Pentacles. Nine of Wands, Three of Swords, King of Cups. So some, some, something happened here. Um, and this person is sort of coming also through the storm. The Nine of Wands to me is a card of perseverance, almost like against all odds. It, it can be exhaustion, but it's like for the love of all that's holy, I'm not letting this go. I'm going to keep pushing through, even though it's hard and painful because their feelings run very deep. This person may not have or has have not for quite some time communicated the true depth of their feelings. And so, the you know, it's all raw. Everything I'm seeing here feels raw, stripped down, laid bare, vulnerable. Whew. Virgo. So let's see your karmic challenge in the world card. <laughs> yeah, but you're kind of like, make it stop, make it stop. No, I want to get off this ride. Thank you very much. I'll come back. There's the vulnerability. Um, Knight of Cups. Yeah. I feel like though, I feel like this person, you know, kind of walked away. You had the romance, everything going well, but I do feel like some got caught up. Some, somewhere along the way, things got stuck. And it seems like you're in this kind of perpetual cycle of um, reliving it. There's a reliving of this situation that you finally kind of had to pull yourself out of and take the time to review. So I, I know your karmic challenge is that world card, but the clarifiers kind of tell you, well, where am I getting caught in this process? Well, you're getting caught in overthinking and second guessing yourself. You're getting caught in, in and stuck in the, well, they walked away, so I, I don't know what to do, right? Well, there was a lot of love here and perhaps this vulnerability um, is buried too far deep for you to kind of get the, grok the full lesson. But I feel that the world card also gives us a hope of a new beginning. And so if you're stuck on the leaving, you're going to miss the arrival. Because I feel this is somebody who has something to say from their heart. And their challenge is to say it honestly. Yes. <laughs> oh, to, to you, Virgo, to you. You are the Nine of Pentacles that is associated with Virgo. But in this case, you're the Queen of Swords. Like, just give it to me straight. You know, that's what the Nine of Pentacles is. I feel like this person, um, you know, uh, thinks highly of you, is... Um, sees you as very confident, sort of self-possessed, and, you know, very capable in life. This person admires you, and so they're kind of worried about coming clean on something or just having a matter-of-fact conversation. They're worried about it. They sort of obsess about it. How do I fix this? How do I approach it? What are the nitty-gritty details that could get catch me off guard or off balance? It's like, no, just be yourself. Be your unvarnished self. Speak from your heart, which this person has a bit buried. Um, and so their karmic challenge is just removing all the filters and speaking from their heart very straightforwardly with attention to details. Because, you know, Virgo. So let's look at the opportunity here with the Ten of Pentacles. Magician, Queen of Wands, Seven of Wands. This is about the fortitude to manifest the future you're looking for here. And I'm almost seeing that Seven of Wands as the taking a stand for what it is you desire, since we have the Wands energy is always about desire, right? Passion, um, fortitude, motivation, inspiration, initiation. Yeah, you get it. 
So the seven of wands underneath is like, what do you want the future to be? Manifest that shit. Because you can't kind of leave everything just languishing on the vine here, Virgo. Somebody has got to step up and take the lead. And I am feeling that Queen of Wands could be either of you, quite frankly. It just feels like the passion that's needed. You have all the tools at your disposal with that magician there. It is, and it's like, yeah, get, get the fire in the belly for it. Accept no substitutions for the future that you want in this connection. That's the opportunity. The death card is divine guidance. So, well, let me just say, um, different day, different sign, different decks. Uh, if you are dealing with a Leo, or if you're here as a Leo watching for a Virgo, please watch the Leo reading. Um, this feels nearly identical, especially to the extended for that reading. But um, this is that energy of releasing the painful ending of the past, when this person walked away, how they didn't share their feelings, broke their own heart, right? There's like a theme here of the stripped down, raw, just laying it all out there. And it is about the phoenix rising from the ashes. This is a love story. Wait a minute. This is a love story of second chances, of forgiveness and redemption, reconciliations, reunion. But not unless or until you can release what has gone before. So that the growth, change, and transformation can be a thing instead of an idea. Like, you know, like an earworm. It, it, it's 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 got to be presented, and I'm feeling like that's where we're headed. Wow. Universe co-conspiring with you for all of this, Virgo. So, and I am feeling like this is something that's coming full circle, the world twice. And it does, and in a good way, meaning like sometimes we have to go back to the scene of the crime so we can close it out. So we can say, ah, okay, now I get it. Now I understand. And so now I can manifest the future that I know I desire and deserve. And I can let go of the things that have been an albatross around my neck, which feels more like the Ten of Wands, but it's kind of coming in here um with ten of swords energy yeah Whew, this one virgo um i'm gonna take it to the extended i'm gonna give you the astrology here but please if the readings are you know helping you in any way even the smallest of ways please by all means subscribe below and once you have subscribed, there's a little bell there. Hit the notification bell so it comes up in your feed when I upload new readings. And if you feel so called, like and share. Spread the joy. <laughs> Thank you so much for the subscriptions. Virgo, the last reading really kind of was mind-boggling. So all of you that are new, I'm so happy that you joined us here by subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. I'm going to take it to the extended and there are links below that will take you to the extended one time purchase is just for this one if you're interested in getting more ex access to more extendeds there is a virgo monthly click that link and read about it so you see what you get access to okay all right here we go page of swords came out twice that is all the air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Aquarius right here in the Fool because this is associated with the planet Uranus, the Great Awakener. Yes. Here's Saturn, right? Rules Aquarius and Capricorn. Well, it used to rule Aquarius, but it's the as above, above, so below card. Okay, we have over here, Virgo, you show up in your own reading. How surprising. Hermit is Virgo. 
Mm, Page of Wands, Je um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, all, all of the um, fire signs. We have um, Taurus in our King of Pentacles, Scorpio in the King of Cups. Uh, the world, again, as I said, is Saturn. So Aquarius and Capricorn, Pisces in our Knight of Cups. Queen of Swords is Libra, Virgo in the Nine of Pentacles. Then we have Virgo and Gemini here in the Magician, which is Mercury. Queen of Wands, some Aries energy. The Death card is Scorpio, as is the Judgment card, since it's Pluto, which rules Scorpio. And that's what I have for you, my dears. So thanks for joining me. I'm headed to the Extended now. I'll see you there in a second. Bye.